today's video takes us back to the forgotten town of Milledgeville, Georgia. The target of our exploration was the property of Central State Hospital and other nearby abandoned locations. In this video, we take a look back at the unseen footage and deleted scenes from our trip to historic Milledgeville. A few miles away from Central State Hospital, we came across this mansion that belonged to Governor Herschel V. Johnson. When I first arrived here, of course I was thinking, how the heck am I going to get in this place? I have to get in this place. But as you'll see in a second, it just wasn't possible. On the way out here, I came across this uh, mansion. It's just magnificent looking. Got this old steel fence in front of it. Looks like a haunted mansion. Supposedly some old government governor's summer home mansion. But they must not want people in there. So, we'll stay out. This place is crazy. Stinks. Smells so bad. Oh, smell that. Smell like death. Yeah, that was pretty disgusting. And it smelled horrible. I believe those were uh, deer bones, but I'm not 100% sure. But here we're driving around one of the two abandoned prisons that's on the Central State campus. Um, this is Scott State Prison here, and we're trying to uh, find the entry point into this place. However, we were unsuccessful. And then the other prison is River State Prison. That's the one we were able to get into and um, explore. But um, as you'll see in the next few clips here, we're just driving around this facility, checking out the place, seeing what it has to offer. Yeah, barbed wire on the ground. I want to get through here. I'd love to get through there. That'd be the perfect place to go right there.
I mean, I would. I thought this might be an inmate transportation bus, but you think it'd be a little bit more secure. So, who knows what kind of bus it is, but from the outside, it definitely looks like that. This is a different one, the Bluebird. Right here is some unseen footage from the River State Prison gym. Um, about four or five months ago when we first visited Central State, we were able to get into the gym and film more footage at that time. So if you want to see that, link will be in the description below. That's pretty crazy how they got the tournament sheet still up here. Right. They got all the rules and stuff. Well, that's what I was reading the basketball. And then here's pretty cool. Got some cool trophies. <laughs> Here we're getting ready to enter River State Prison for the first time. Alright y'all. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, you are. Pretty interesting to see the prisoners' engravings here on the door frame. Many long days and nights in here. So most of these beds over here are just regular bunk beds, you can see. Bunk beds.
Here I ventured outside by myself to this small building. As I opened the door, uh, I look at the far wall with the two windows here. And if you look closely, you can see a little ball of light floating up. There's actually two of them, but see that floating up by the window there? Very interesting. <laughs> In this room, it was labeled on the door the counseling work area or counselor work area. And uh, my friend here found some interesting paperwork that uh, we're about to take a look at. While looking at it, I thought about blurring out the names, but then I thought and we discussed it that these records of the inmates and prisoner names are all public record. So I didn't blur anything out. is this? How cool would it be if uh, they had like stained glass in here and stuff? Oh, yeah. Damn right. That's a whole shelf of right there. That's pretty cool. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's very cool. Good looking. Oh, crap. So these are hymns. Because we're by the chaplain now. Good hymns. Very cool. Chaplin Alfred. So, so over here. At the business office. Okay, would you, uh, would you come hold it? It kind of stinks in here. Oh, there's mold in here. Be careful. Don't don't breathe and inhale too much in here. This is the business office. Kind of maybe uh, filter your because that's mold in there. Alright, must have seen here. This smells like that. Uh, yeah, I say we get out of here. It's dangerous. This is all this. Lots of games of spades were played on that table.
We have a freaking Dion Sanders book over here. That's hilarious. All time favorite athlete right there. Encyclopedias. Yep. The Google for back in the day. That's Google right there for back in the day. And it was like $2,000. Yeah, another chaplain? What the heck? Think this is the chaplain's office? Probably a couple. They probably had a couple. That's crazy. Inspired scriptures. Now we're making our way towards Central State Hospital. And on the way there, it looks like we may have disrupted some vultures having their afternoon meal. You'll see here, this the Central State Hospital campus is like its own little town. You have factories, churches, laundry mats, and a lot more. Building upon building is scattered throughout this campus. other sections of Central State. It's like its own little ghost town here. That little laundry mat. We got the church. Come to Central State. So definitely be careful. This is the only building I saw with any type of graffiti on the outside of it. So the Central State staff and security has done a good job keeping vandals away. But this is pretty good art. Here we're approaching the heart of the Central State Campus.
These are some of the examples why people would be admitted. 22 year old white female, a pay patient who had been mentally ill for eight years, immodest, ulcerated legs, and other somewhat minor complaints. There used to be a female female building so this is the male unit so you had a female and a male unit here built in 1884 So in this building, it housed patients that were never likely to leave. Schizophrenia. And there is a cemetery here where a lot of patients did not leave. And I'll leave a link in the description to check out that video. If you look closely at the tree to the left of your screen, at the bottom of the tree, you can see a little fox. So the building we're approaching here is called the Jones Building. It served as the main medical facility for the Central State Campus. Both times we visited Central State, we've been able to get in and explore. Sorry, I'm kind of nervous right now. I didn't see what was up these stairs last time. I'm gonna go look, but go straight ahead and take a left. Oh, it goes to nowhere. Weird. You saw the condoms? Oh, they're gone. Oh, there it is. Look. Yeah, there's the condom. This condom right there. Isn't that filthy? Did that here, it's, like a... it's crazy. What's that supposed to mean? Actually, this, you just look how small the patient rooms are. Well, that's how they should have it at C2, I know that.
right here I wanted to throw in a few clips of Central State's Cedar Lane Cemetery. Just wanted to show you guys what it looked like here. Um, remember I do have a video specifically dedicated to this cemetery. The link will be in the description. But um, this will be the end of this film. Um, I appreciate everybody watching. And everybody have a good one. Thanks.